Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates, you know, where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. Today is still about Thanksgiving, and you can check out my series down below in the description box. I've got a special guest in the kitchen. Y'all have been asking about him, so yeah. <laughs> I got him in the kitchen today to make his very favorite side dish that he loves for Thanksgiving. What is it? Oh, it's deviled eggs. Deviled eggs, and he can eat his share of them. Hey, it. hey. <laughs> he eats his share, and everybody hey, else's share. He does. You're not part of this. <laughs> you stop. And when we go other places for Thanksgiving, oh, we're <laughs> always having to make the deviled eggs, mm -hmm. which is great for us because we keep some behind and bring the rest. Yep. <laughs> okay, guys, we've got two ways that we're going to show you how to make hard boiled eggs. We're just going to do them really quickly for you, and then we're going to show you how we're going to turn these eggs into deviled eggs that look like pumpkins. Pumpkins. Okay, I'm going to show you an easy stovetop recipe and a uh, instant pot recipe. There we go. Let's go ahead and get started. Yep. Okay, for the stove top way, we're going to add six of our eggs here into our pot. Yep. And then we're going to take water and we're going to fill it up until it just covers the eggs. You got six in there? Yep. And then what he's going to do is salt these eggs. Mm-hmm. I know that's really funny to hear, right? I grew up with this method, my mom's taught me that, where if you salt the eggs, it keeps the eggs from cracking while they're boiling. So Joseph's gonna go ahead and put salt on each, just kind of over the eggs. They're not gonna land like, you know, on top of the egg, but it works. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this on a burner, put it on high and bring it to a boil. Now our eggs are boiling. What we're going to do is turn the burner off. We're going to place a lid on and then we're going to let these eggs sit for six minutes and then we're going to put them into an ice bath that stops the cooking process and makes them cool enough for us to be able to peel. Okay, we're going to let those sit for about five minutes. Okay, for the Instant Pot version, I'm going to have Joseph put six eggs onto a rack that we're going to place into the Instant Pot. Now it doesn't matter if you want to hard boil one egg or if you want to hard boil ten eggs. They're all going to cook at the same time. And then what we're going to do is put about one to two cups of water and you're just going to pour that in there. Now we're not looking to cover the eggs. Now we are going to do the 555 version and what that means is we're going to cook them for five minutes then we're going to do a slow release for five minutes and then they're going to sit in an ice bath for five minutes and that's going to get a really good peel on the eggs. Okay so on the instant pot with your lid locked in place you want to make sure that the knob on the back of the unit is on sealing which Joseph just did and then on the front of the unit we're going to hit the pressure button and we're going to take the time down to five minutes. Now it's going to do a countdown and then it's going to count up and when we do the count up it's going to have five minutes and that's when we're going to do the quick release and then place the eggs into an ice bath. All right, there we go. Perfectly peeled egg. Okay, now we've got our little station going here. I'm going to have Joseph cut the eggs lengthwise on his cutting board here with a knife. Yep, and lengthwise means no. long ways. You mean, you mean like this? No. <laughs> Make sure it's even. Go careful. There you go. Woo, that was fast. Okay, he's going to take a spoon to kind of help him and get the yolk out and just kind of pop it. There you go, like that. And then he's going to put the white on the orange plate right there. Okay. That's our system right there. So I'm going to be peeling and he's going to carefully take the yolk out. And I think I'm the slow one. I mean, your job's a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> we can change places if you no. like. 
No, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, we make about a dozen of these for Thanksgiving. You have to. Who doesn't love these left over with your turkey and everything the next day? I just take the egg and I just put it back in the water and just kind of rinse it off a little bit and that gets off any kind of little shells that's still on the egg. There you go. Okay, so Joseph has a masher here and he is going to break up the yolks to a nice mash there. Now, when I make deviled eggs, I don't really measure how much of anything I put in. I just kind of look at it and determine. But we've got about 12 eggs, nope. the yolks, in here. So I'm probably going to put, as he's mashing, three big scoops of mayonnaise. Because you can go back and add if you need to. We don't want this too wet. No. And now we use yellow mustard. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add about two teaspoons. Click, <laughs> click, click. Okay, so I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And what you don't want to do is over salt your eggs because you're never going to be able to fix that. So start light, give it a taste, and then go from there. Yep. And then we're going to put in about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I can't tell y'all how many holidays when I make deviled eggs, somebody gets the bowl, mm -hmm. somebody gets the mixer here, because you know, that's the best part of making deviled eggs, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, now what we're gonna do, I've got some paprika here. Now generally paprika is sprinkled across the top of your eggs once they're done. We're gonna add it to the mixture and add a little extra to get that pumpkin color. Yep. All right. I'm going to shake it in so we can kind of manage how much we put in. So we're going to put in about a quarter, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. You're going to mix that up until we get that desired consistency. Now what's nice about putting the paprika in there and putting a lot of it in there is it's going to give it a good flavor. And a nice color too. And a nice color. Nice little orange color. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take a plastic piping bag, or you can even use a Ziploc bag, and we're just going to kind of fit it into a glass here, a very tall glass, and roll the edges around the edge of the glass there. And then we're gonna take the mixture and put it into the glass. You want to hold that? Yeah. Okay. We're super excited. Mm. <laughs> oh, you already know I am. <laughs> Love deviled eggs. We're going to cut off the tip right there. Twist. And I'm going to give this to Joseph. Hold it down there. Mm-hmm. And then like this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll be a fast way to eat these eggs. <laughs> mm -hmm. good. All right, we're set up now. What Joseph's going to do is pipe into each of these egg whites here. He's going to place one on the plate, pipe it in there, and while he's doing that, let me tell you something. I was trying to figure out how to get that pumpkin shape on these, and mm -hmm. I was really having a problem using the fork. Joseph came up with a toothpick here. Wow, and that really works. So, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Okay, so you just take your toothpick and after you've put your mixture into the egg, you just make your lines for the pumpkin, just like that. So you want to take your toothpick and you just kind of like that. Yeah, those are like really pretty. You gotta put more in there to get me. In. There you go. It's such a cute idea to put your deviled eggs on your table looking like this. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna finish these off and I'm gonna show you how we're going to complete the pumpkin look.
Okay, so if you saw my trick here, you can put your toothpick in. Let's turn it around that way. And then run it through it, and then you wipe it off, and then do your other line right there. Makes a cute little pumpkin. Okay, let's finish these off. Okay, so I've got Joseph some green onions here. We just kind of chopped off the top part right here. And what we're going to do is just cut off a really small dice on these. Mm -hmm. So like that. Yep. Okay, just like that. Yep, these are going to be the tops of our pumpkins right Thank there. You. How cute is that? There we are, our Thanksgiving pumpkin deviled eggs. Whoop, whoop. Mm. All right, we're toasting. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait because of that green onion on there. It smells so good. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna put a green onion on every bite. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, it adds such a little zing to it. Mm. No, it's really good. Mm-hmm. 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 We talking in mm-hmm's now? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, y'all. Let us know what you think of these. Don't be afraid of that paprika to give it color because it adds such a delicious flavor to it. Yep. Mm. So mm. good. Oh yeah. All right. Comment down below. Don't forget our what? A thumbs up. Thumbs ups. Make All sure right. you share the video too. Yeah. Try to get this soup. You know a lot of people want to decorate their table with these. Oh yeah. Give it a nice little fallish type feel to it. Yes. All right. We will see you on our next episode. Oh yeah.